Hi friends, this side Amritam, I am CSAT coach over here in the organization and we are here with the overview of CSAT comprehensive classes that is just going to start very soon. And what is the need of this very class and how you are going to have benefit from this very, um, these, and this classes, the set of uh, classes as far as the thing is concerned and how CSAT 2023 has been different, what are the fears in the mind of students and how to tackle all these sort of things, everything we are going to discuss in a bit over here. So we are starting. So I'm writing here CSAT 2023. Since year 2011, 13 years have already passed. All right. And uh, we have 13 CSAT questions till now, question paper till now. And 2023 CSAT paper have been very, very difficult in many terms. It has been different in many terms. And that's why there is apprehension. There are apprehensions, their fear in the mind of students regarding it. And what is the fear exactly? And how to tackle with those fear? And uh, how this very sort of course is going to help you out in that regard? All these things we are going to discuss over here. So reasons of fear from CSAT, what are the reasons that we are just going to discuss over here? Now understand one part. What is that CSAT 2023 had got QA, LR and reading comprehension section questions. As many as approximately 40 questions were from quantity aptitude, all right. And from logical reasoning, only 10 questions were there and approximately 25 26 questions were there from uh, reading comprehension and miscellaneous five questions from here to there you can just understand so now what is the thing that i'm just going to discuss over here csat 2023 first of all the pattern the different pattern qa 40 question in the previous year it was not 40 question it was around 30 question and error were more questions were there all right and some questions like data interpretation question ds questions have been coming over the years and now what is there in this uh, what is there in this very examination and the examination was like there was new kind of questions in all together new format across these three sections that have never been asked before so never you have seen those type of questions before in the CSAT pattern overall in the last 13 years I'm talking about. And that's why this CSAT 2023 have been different. And the 80 question set that were there approximately and uh, that were there exactly 80 questions. Difficulty level of approximately 40 questions out of this 80 question was above par. All right. And the main thing was from 1 to 80 what are the set of questions that you have to just attempt how to choose those part what is the first go question set what is the second go question set and the time is over of course lengthy paper was there all these sort of things were there that was quite different from the previous examinations and that's where it marked a lot of difference in the mind of students so we are here with this very analysis what is that unexpected change in the paper pattern the pattern that i was discussing and unexpected change in the number of questions section wise and new surprise element i talked about all these three points here new surprise element was what the way in which the question was framed now the option have become trickier now the option have become what data sufficiency based likewise all right data sufficiency pattern questions i'm just talking about that so new pattern of questions were there and the questions were more invigorating and were more challenging for all the students all right quantitative aptitude section was especially a bit difficult and uh, uh, logical reasoning section was also in the difficult range zone and as far as English reading comprehension section is concerned some questions were easily doable some were some questions were of moderate uh, level and uh, rest question were that can be deemed as a tough one also here in the reading comprehension section also so this was the overall pattern and the unusual pattern that has followed in this very year has just raised eyebrows from so many persons and I'm just telling you right now, up till right now, there might be a chances that even some of the questions that have been asked in those 80 question scenario, I'm talking about CSAT 2023, the correct answer of, I'm talking about quant and LR section, maybe the correct answer will be different, whatever you are perceiving here in the indifferent sites and altogether anything like that, 
will be different from what UPSC is going to give in February. All right. So what I mean to say, it's all around topsy-turvy. But in that very topsy-turvy, you had got a way of solving those things, a way of solving, a way of uh, handling these sort of 80 question groupings all together in one go and that way is the main guidance principle the organization is taking you on through and what exactly is that it is thoroughly uh, researched activity over here and so we will be discussing other parts here and why students fail to crack the test that is the next part so we see lack of clarity and vision all right So, lack of clarity and vision, lack of proper guidance, lack of practicing, lack of information on various levels, taking this exam for granted, vast syllabus and less preparation time, lack of time management, dwelling in wrong set of questions in the actual examination. I was talking about 2023 question set previously and the scenario will be there discussed in all our slides over here. So, what is the thing? Clarity and vision. Now, why students are failing to crack this very CSAT examination because they are taking this very examination for granted. Many of the students take it for granted and have less ta preparation time because, because they do not start early. They start at the end moment. I'm not saying like uh, January, February. They start like March and April, getting or not getting. So that is the case. So they are having very less preparation time and vast syllabus is there. That's where they face the main difficulty and at the time of examination topsy turvy come and if they are capable even capable enough to solve at least 30 40 questions out of that 80 question due to not having proper guidance how to tackle that sort that sort of question scenario they face the challenge and they just fail to crack the examination now what is the stuff here lack of practicing lack of proper guidance the direction is necessary what the organization is providing you is the direction in which you have to orient yourself towards the goal. And what is the target? Target of just not having only 33.33% marks, but more than that. Getting or not getting? This is the greatest misconception that only one third mark is required. So you have to be easy going. CSAT is all about what? This sort of topsy-turvy and giving you surprising element. Now, lack of clarity vision, lack of proper guidance is there, lack of practicing is there. Of course, you will be not having enough time to practice questions. How can you go? Uh, how can you uh, be able to ca uh, crack this very examination in one go? Lack of information on various levels. You do not have correct information regarding the source where you have to get the questions from, practice materials from, and various other informations like whatever I was just discussing the proper guidance in this very format here we are having the principle of cracking the examination in that two hours time scenario and many sort of things goes on in that the correct selection of questions perseverance of your own strong and weak areas you have to mug up your weak areas you have to just beautify your strong areas at the same time and you have to go ahead in the examination you have not to just discard any section of your target. Why? Because if you are just going towards only two or suppose only one section at all, getting or not getting the strong area, you are going to get a lot of surprise elements and get a lot of difficulty facing the examination questions. 2023 have been this, uh, this level uh, questions. So what you can expect in 2024? Will it be easier or will it be on the same uh, path line what UPSC has followed this very year? This, uh, this we, will see in, uh, we will be seeing in future, no problem in that. Now, the thing is lack of time management. This is the very important point, lack of time management at various levels. And this is the, one of the main factor why they used to fail in the examination. Now, in that very two, uh, two hour scenario, suppose they have just invested half an hour in only five, four questions that they should not have done. They should have done that at the back end, at the, at the end portion of the examination, if time was there for them. So this sort of thing is there, dwelling in the wrong, wrong set of questions in the actual examination. That was what I was referring, uh, referring to just right in short while earlier. All right, so now we are moving to the other slide. And what is that? 
solutions this program is offering to you all and what is that that is the authentic guidance correct exam taking strategy quality pedagogy and contents and extensive practice material see whatever the class format is the main essence i'm just putting forward here this is the main classroom time now here the concept building part is there here you will be given handout here you will be just discussed you will uh, you will be just uh, there will be some sort of discussion regarding the past year questions and how you can tackle the questions that are going to come because pattern gets repeated i would say that but questions definitely not telling this about CSAT examination only and at last go you are getting practice materials that you have to just practice at home and apart from that whatever the thing is you will get uh, you will not get enough time uh, for you all uh, to just manage the thing up uh, like so exhaustive is the syllabus and so exhaustive is the um, study material uh, that is being provided over here in the examination so in the in this very time frame you will not be having enough time if you go on full on 100% uh, you are giving over here in this very examination now in this very examination preparation strategies i'm talking now this is a practice material importance that i've just taught quality pedagogy and uh, uh, content are needed main thing is what content i'm telling you there would not be you would not be finding books that would be catering to the exact pattern that has been followed in the examination the exact type of questions that have been just followed up in the examination that is csat 2023 i'm telling you it has been a lot it has poses a lot of difference as compared to the other year question scenario i'm telling you that you will have to be a bit sincere more sincere with respect to that seriousness and sincerity is two different thing are two different things so just get more sincere i would say that here all right so we are going to the next slide and see now we are coming down to the syllabus all right very easy it is to comprehend because you all know one is quantitative aptitude one is logical reasoning and one is what reading comprehension section but the main thing is what there is one section that is all together written over here and what is that data interpretation now never in underestimate this very part data interpretation was not asked in 2015-16 but it got an appearance in 2018 it was not there uh, i think in 2019 but uh, was there in 2020 ds questions along with this was is one of the section from the logical reasoning that have got the same pattern following i mean there is a lot of changing in terms of the way question have been framed some year down the line data interpretation question is coming this year 2023 it's it uh, it has seen no question from data interpretation area all right so that is the thing. but that was not the scenario in the 2022 all right so there is there are these four sections and what is that number system average then percentage then ratio proportion this is the main building block for what data interpretation and this is going to take maximum time out of whatever time we are just going to uh, spend on this quantity aptitude section why because this is very very these are very very important chapters out of this number system is of utmost importance number system and computation are only two areas which comprise at least 30 questions out of all those 80 questions i'm taking i'm telling you just understand the scenario this number of big big chapters are there all right approximately 10 12 chapters are there and i'm specifically talking about these two chapters and you have understood the exact importance whatever i'm telling over here now apart from that four and this number system is related to permutation combination counting principle is there and Probability is just a miniature format, uh, just what extends extension to this very uh, permutation combination, nothing else is there. And there are many other chapters like geometry, SI, CI, profit. And always remember, once percentage is finished, I will just go on to this very topic. Why? Because SI, CI, profit loss discount, allegation mixture, the way I will be just telling you out all these sort of uh, concept, concepts that I will be just giving you out, I will be giving it to you only after percentage chapter because percentage chapter concepts are very much necessary to understand all these sort of chapter and the way 
it will be done profit loss discount and other chapters likewise in the classroom you will be understanding how small these are as chapter and how big this percentage number system permutation combination areas are getting or not getting and other chapters are you know uh, time speed distance time and work and likewise the thing is and now we are going to logical reasoning exactly i should tell here the reasoning Now, in the reasoning section, there is non-verbal reasoning and there is verbal reasoning. Non-verbal reasoning, you have got analytical reasoning, cubes and dice, uh, mirror image, water image, matrix, all these sort of thing. And all together, all these areas are verbal reasoning. Okay, all right. And one area is different. And what is that? I'm just telling you. That is data sufficiency. So, what are the main stuffs? Data sufficiency questions we are never asked in 2019, likewise, 2018, 2019, 2000, uh, uh, 2000, sorry, 2017, 2016, it was not asked. But after 2017, it got a comeback in the pattern, and there are many more questions coming over here from this very arena. And 2023 questions have been based on the pattern in which data sufficiency questions are there. I mean to say options have become trickier and at the first go also I just uh, said this very thing to you all and data sufficiency has gathered a lot of importance and at the same time I should say that in logical reasoning section I have just put data sufficiency but the questions do come from the quant area also and all together at last but not the least I must tell you questions have been taking concepts both from quant areas and this reasoning areas. So now you will be surprised to note one question was there where this calendar chapter and one concept, remainder theorem uh, concept from number system areas was mixed. So one area of quant and one area of reasoning. These two have been mixed and one question was there in the year 2023. I think, I think you have gone through questions you will be understanding what questions are there. So other, other chapters are direction sense, coding, decoding, logical brain diagram, conditions, grouping, arithmetical reasoning, ranking puzzles, seating arrangement, blood relation. What are the important chapters? Venn diagram. What are the important chapters? Syllogism. All right. What are the other important areas? Seating arrangement and the puzzle. Where is puzzle? Puzzle is here. Yes, this is important. And after this, altogether, all other areas have got questions. Now, the I'm talking about one single chapter. What is that? Conditions and grouping and coded inequality. Coded inequality, where it is? It is not written over here. I'm writing here. Coded inequality. A question from coded inequality was especially there in 2023, but the questions were not having, uh, questions were not uh, from this very area in the year 2022 21. Likewise, you, uh, you can say. Altogether, ranking questions were there, but direct question from coded inequality was not there. So every chapter is having its own importance. Suppose an ideal scenario, 30 questions from quantitative aptitude and 20 questions from logical reasoning, 20 to 25 questions from logical reasoning. Every chapter have got at least one question. What is the number of questions? It is etc. There are many other chapters. So altogether, you can just understand that all these questions, all these chapters may be having at least one question in the examination and ex extensive preparation is very much necessary as far as the thing is concerned. Now we will be going to the other section and what is that? Let's see here. Reading comprehension, different series of reading comprehension component classes are there for you to just take on in this very CSAT comprehensive classes. Now reference to the verbal abilities very much necessary because the questions like facts, inference, judgment, corollary based inference, rational inference, direct inference, all these sort of things are being asked and other aspects are, are also being taken uh, care of. And this section is the section where you need guidance plus practicing guidance this much and practicing this much. So that guidance is very much necessary in order to just go and plunge into this very uh, format. And uh, uh, when you just go here in the practicing area, after that, you will be just having what P, uh, P by Qs, I mean to say past year questions, if you have just solved these, and then you have become quite temperative enough for the examination to be followed. And that is my target also here, as far as the thing is concerned. 
after reading comprehension we are just going to discuss something in detail and what is that why this program is there now i must say you why this program is there the program is for the benefit of the students all right and program is here to cater to the need of the hour and what exactly is that unexpected nature unexpected nature of csat was there as far as 2023 is concerned and so this program is here to cater to the needs of students what is the focus of program what was the need of the program and how it is going to really help you all out we are going to discuss all these sort of things so unpredictable nature of csat is there and that you eventually understand so unpredictable nature of csat how to cater that the organization knows it better and we have just done thorough research activity in this very field and the content you are going to have and the content of the class these two things are going to take you through the examination preparation strategies and examination preparation levels in a good manner so that is the thing and then is comprehensive focus on all the three sections now i must tell you no such day is there where you can just say here that only two section is enough for us and i am very strong in two section my strong areas are quant and logical reasoning but not reading comprehension i am just telling you csat 23 was the eye opener you have to be just very much acquainted towards this very sphere whatever i am talking here so you need to just go through reading comprehension section also if you are very much comfortable with reading comprehension section only and you are just not going through the other two sections you are just saying that 25 26 questions are there from this very section and uh, altogether some questions will be manageable uh, from the other areas and i will be just uh, passing the examination very clearly now i must tell you this csat 2023 is an eye opener for you all you will be practicing over here all the three sections in a equal what Cogn uh, cogn uh, cognitive manner now what exactly is the thing gray areas are there and we will be emphasizing on that gray areas so what do i mean by this very thing because certain areas are there such as the one principle is there that is the remainder theorem remainder theorem questions i'm just not talking about the extens uh, extensive principles of this remainder theorem anything like that the direct the direct questions from the reading comprehension uh, sorry direct question from this very section that is uh, that is the remainder theorem in the number system area started coming from 2020 onwards 2020 has seen 2021 has seen 2022 has seen and 2023 has seen i was talking about one question where two principles of quantity aptitude and logical reasoning was what embedded in one question and that was calendar and this remainder theorem so i mean to say there are many sort of areas that are just newly coming over here all right some sort of questions that have been asked in upsc 2023 have never ever been asked before and in the line of that you will be uh, just allowed to go here with enough practice material and go ahead with enough practicing in the classroom and discussion over here and that will be very much necessary for you all why because these area have not been appearing before but have occurred abruptly and is now the main pick point of the upsc uh, question setting norm and now what is the other thing discussion of the on the different varieties of questions and inclusion of questions based on new patterns all these things we have already discussed so we are moving to the next slide over here i hope you have got what exactly is the focus of program i will be just discussing over here and why this program is needed i hope you have got it thank you now what is the main focus area of this very program first of all we need one thing the fear should be completely out of your mind completely out of your mind if you are having even certain amount of fear in the examination in that very uh, two hour examination scenario you are not going to buckle up in a very nice manner all right and the organization's effort is that in that very line only to just make that fear out because if you have known the basic thoroughly knowing the basic thoroughly is very much necessary if you are just still if you are still on what sort tricks and anything sort methods likewise sort tricks and anything like that you are not going to get through this very examination quite easily thorough understanding of the basic concept is very much necessary i am talking about all the chapters of quantity aptitude 
all right the basic first four chapter is very much necessary and the basics of all these chapter will be discussed thoroughly over here and emphasis will be just laid down on that and now apart from that enhancing problem solving ability is there and comprehensive analysis of pyqs are there pyq past year questions if you are thinking that 2020 2011 onward up till now questions are necessary i will be saying that yes it is necessary but since 2017 onward 2017 was an eye opener that was a difficult or moderate to difficult paper but the kind of pattern 2017 have been following 2017 has followed was not seen in 2016 2018 likewise 2017 was different from all the subsequent previous years 2018 was a bit different it was a bit easy as compared to that you can just say but eventually the thing is like that 2017 has set one norm where the change in pattern was quite expressible visible to you all all right to uh, us all now we are into the key areas of the csat program and that is the last part of our slide over here so 100 plus hours of learning would be there and now i must tell you this program is consisting of qa section lr section and english reading comprehension section I said some of the questions have got concepts rising from these two areas at the same time quant and logical reasoning so quant separately will be done at first of all then logical reasoning section will be there if the chance arise then there will be mix of some sort of concept like the question that I just discussed and some sort of questions in line with what is being uh, seen over here in the CSAT 2023 that was that will be done and at the last you will be having rc reading comprehension section and the focus of the program i have already just discussed before and we have discussed the syllabus also in a short detail over here so prime focus on concept building will be there i told you whole of quantity aptitude plus logical reasoning i would say quant you should not go towards short trick and sort what ways of just getting marks you are not going to get through quite easily you will be having need of concept building and that is the main focus of this very program now concept building will be in line with what are the questions that have been asked in the previous year examination what is the need of the hour it will be an exhaustive one i mean to say to tackle each and every sort of concept areas that were there in the year 2017 18 19 20 21 22 23 i am specifically specifically telling you about the seven area the seven years pyqs now all this pattern questions will be discussed and the part i have already said before also how it will how it will be done in the classroom and topic wise coverage of the syllabus will be there then carefully crafted handouts handout what the what are the questions that should be there in the handout questions should be like if one hour teaching is there and some questions have been discussed as an example in that very part the questions in line with that that are more effective as far as catering to uh, the need of the hour is concerned i mean to say the changing csat pattern syllabus is there if that is an incorporation and some new futuristic questions all right futuristic questions are there you know the question that i was referring to uh, since beginning and that was what that was this day is wednesday so what will be the day uh, 10 to the power 10th day from here so calendar plus that remainder theorem principle from the number system area this has been mixed so all together every sort of thing will be taken care of here so carefully uh, crafted handout would be there and discussing futuristic question would be there i already told you about that regular sectional and mock test would be there so after every gap of three four classes or likewise so whatever is the pattern there will be sectional test all right then mock test will be there at the end and mentorship succession for conceptual clarity is there and that is the key area of the csat program also and at last but not the least online and offline support if you are not attending it online you will be having an option and uh, of attending this offline also and if you have just uh, uh, got all these sort of supports online plus offline plus all the areas that we have discussed so i don't think in csat 2024 you are going to face any sort of problem take your fear out of your mind 
take the fear out of your mind here as far as CSAT 2024 is going to be concerned. It might be easier in level of difficulty. It might be a bit tougher as compared to this. It might be anything like that. But if you have got enough practicing, if you have started early, early I mean to say from now onward, for the next examination that is coming in the 2024 CSAT, what uh, we are discussing and the classes for that very thing only. So if there is enough concept building and you have invested enough time practicing things, then there will be no looking back and you are going to get through it very easily. I wish you all the very best. I hope I have given the comprehensive this viewpoint of the organization for this very uh, batch and I will be waiting for you to come over here and thank you for being with me. Amritam, here, take care. Bye-bye.